Hey everybody, Julie here from Mostly Caffeinated. Another quick haul for you, uh, toddler clothes this time. I went to a consignment shop uh, the day before Easter. Now, I don't usually do consignment stores for my kids, I usually just do straight up thrift stores because it's cheaper. Um, but my older son is growing out of his 2T clothes and he's going into 3T clothes. And since he's wearing his clothes for almost a year at a time now, I thought it might be worth it to go consignment and get some little bit nicer things um, since he's going to be wearing them for a long time. I went in for shoes, because he outgrows shoes, and a suit for Easter, because I'm a procrastinator and I waited till the day before to buy him a suit for Easter. And I found both of those things, so let's start there. Okay, first off, shoes. Now this was nuts. Okay, he outgrew his size 7 shoes. So I tried to buy him size 8 shoes, and literally none of the size 8 shoes fit him. I don't know if these were like miracle size 7 shoes that were like really big that he outgrew, or if he somehow skipped a size of shoe, or if it was just what was available at the consignment store, I don't know. So I went to the 9s, and I got these. Okay, now they're a little dirty now because he's been wearing them, but they were brand new when I bought them. Um, they're Levi's, I guess. I didn't really know they made shoes for little boys. And they're like canvas. They're kind of a dark olive gray green type color. And then they're yellow on the insides, which is fun. Um, and they're high tops because he likes high tops. And they stay on his feet better because you can't pull them off because they're tall. So I got those. And then he needed a pair of sandals for summer. I know some people don't believe in sandals for little kids. To be perfectly honest, I didn't either. Except that my oldest son has the smelliest, sweatiest feet ever. Like when he was a baby, his feet were sweaty and stinky. So he has to wear sandals in the summer. It's like a disaster. Um, so I found these. They're Columbia. Um, and the straps look worn, but the bottoms really don't. So I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe they, maybe the kid was at daycare or something. And so they were inside all the time. I don't know, but they're just black. Um, they're the least weird looking thing I could find. Boy sandals are ridiculous. They're ridiculous. I don't believe in plastic flip-flops for little kids, and I don't believe in those ugly brown, like, closed toed shenanigans. So this is the best I could do. They're black, simple enough. And then, while I was digging through the size 9s, I found a pair that's actually size 9, as in they're a little too big for my son, but I could not leave them there. I don't have a real brand attachment to Ralph Lauren, but they're just so cute. They're like a light taupey gray. They've got the little polo guy on the side. I just couldn't. So this is his next pair of shoes when he outgrows the high tops. All right, and then I did succeed in getting him a suit. Oh, Oop, sorry. Here it is, it's gray. That's what I wanted. I specifically wanted a gray suit, vest and pants. Um, I didn't need the shirt. It came with a purple shirt. He hasn't worn the purple shirt. I mean, he will. It's fine. I like it. It's cute. I didn't need a shirt. He had a shirt. I just needed the suit. But it came all together. Little gray pinstripe suit coat. Little gray pants. Um, I'm not completely convinced that this whole thing actually originally came together. Because the shirt says Van Heusen, which is a good brand. But the, uh, the suit... Uh, what is this best? Just says made in Vietnam. I feel like it would have had the brand here again if this was Van Heusen as well, but so be it. Um, it's a size four. Now my son's wearing a size three. Couldn't find a size three suit, so got the size four. It fit just fine. The pants were too long. So my mother, who is fantastic, um, my mom actually hemmed up the pants for him the night before. <laughs> it has this little pocket square. This is like permanently attached. And since I didn't feel like detaching this, he needed a tie to go with it. Um, I'm not usually a buy something just to go with something else type of person. But he actually needed a tie anyway. He's outgrown his ties. And I thought a bow tie would be cute. So I got this one. Um, I gave him a choice between a polka dot one, it was like black and white polka dots, and this purple one. And he picked the purple one, so. That's what we opened. All right, then he needed some t-shirts. He's outgrowing his 2T t-shirts. So what I did is I picked out all the cute ones off the rack, 
and my husband was along. He hates secondhand shopping because you have to look at everything. He hates that. So what I did is I pulled off all the cute ones that were 3T and I told him to pick some. So naturally, we ended up with a Batman t-shirt, which is super soft and super cute. Um, my son does like Batman. Not that he's ever seen Batman, but he has a little Batmobile car he drives around in and he likes when they sing him the Batman song. And my husband has always worn a Batman t-shirt. Every time he wears one out, I buy him a new one. So it's just kind of a cute thing. I don't know if anybody else has noticed this. Okay. But every time I buy a Batman t-shirt, like it's actually Batman brand. Every time I buy one, it's way tinier than the size that it says. Um, even for my husband, really. Like, this is supposedly 3T, and it's the smallest shirt he has. It fits now. It won't fit all year. It'll maybe fit through summer, but I loved it, so we brought it home with us. Um, then I picked out this one. Because it's got a little volcano and a dinosaur and a pirate ship and a little, like, treasure map thing. Oh, so cute. It's Joe Fresh. I don't know anything about Joe Fresh. Never bought Joe Fresh. I've heard of it. That's about it. But it's super cute. And he likes all those kind of things. Dinosaurs and birds and islands and stuff. And I thought that one was nice. Um, this one made my little literature teacher heart go pitter-pat. It's where the wild things are. It's so cute. Um, I like how it's asymmetrical. Like the wild thing is off to one side and it kind of goes out of the back too. So I thought that was cool. Um, and this was brand new with tags. I know it's from Target. It doesn't say that. But I remember a couple of years back Target did a bunch of where the wild things are stuff. Like their whole dollar spot was full of it and they had a bunch of kids clothes. I'm sure it was from Target. But it still had the original where the wild things are tag on it. I was a little scared to wash it but I did and I even put it in the dryer and it came out all right. So it's good in my book. And then we had Linus pick one out, and this is the only shirt that he cared about <laughs> out of the whole stack of shirts. This is the only one that he had any kind of reaction to because it's got a giant truck on it, a giant shiny monster truck, and he loves him some trucks. What is this? It's Carter's. Great. I love Carter's. Carter's washes really well. Like, their jersey is kind of a little bit better material than other t-shirts for little boys. So, there's that. And then I just got him this plain long-sleeved, what is this, Old Navy. It's really soft and warm because he's growing out of all of his long-sleeved shirts. And he needed one. So there it is. I got him a set of Carter's pajamas, those two-piece jersey pajamas, long sleeves. They've got animal tracks on them. Uh, just because he's outgrowing his 2T pajamas and it's going to be summer soon. As much as he loves fuzzy footy pajamas, I don't think he can wear them in the summer. So he needed some lighter weight ones. So I got him those. And then pants. Okay, two pairs of jeans, because he's out of 2T pants. This is so funny, the size differences, you guys. The difference between 2T pants and 3T pants is seriously like several inches. These are too long and I have to roll them up, but the 2Ts are too short and look ridiculous. I don't know. And I went in knowing I needed pants, and they have to have tabs. My kid is apparently skinny. I don't know. And <laughs> they've got to have tabs. So I went hunting. Uh, this pair is Old Navy with tabs. They're just real plain. They got a little wear in the knees, but what do you expect from little boy clothes? This pair is also Old Navy. But these, so excited. These are fleece lined. Yeah. All winter, while he was wearing 2T pants, I kept thinking, oh man, he could use a pair of flannel-lined or fleece-lined jeans. Because jeans are not warm. I know, it, like, America is obsessed with jeans, but they're not warm. Like, leggings are seriously warmer than jeans. So, I got these fleece-lined ones, and <laughs> he's actually been wearing them. It's like, right now, it's 38 degrees outside, and it's snowing. I'm wearing, like, a giant sweater. It is snowing. It is April. Whatever. So he's wearing them now. I'll put them away in the summer because he picks out his own clothes. I don't want him to pick these when it's like 90. Um, but I'll get them back out in fall when Jenny's wearing them. And then the piece de resistance, my favorite thing in the whole wide world, are these burgundy corduroys. Oh my gosh, so cute. They're from Room? 
I've heard of this. I think they're out of business. Whatever. They're amazing. They're soft. Um, they're a real fine whale of corduroy. Whale is like how fridgy the corduroy is. My mom sews. I know weird stuff. Um, so they, they look real nice. They're not like chunky, funky 80s corduroy. Um, and they're burgundy and it's so fun. And when I started looking at the shirts we were picking out, I just couldn't believe how well this stuff went together. You wouldn't think burgundy pants would go with a lot of stuff, but it goes with the blue monster trucks. It goes with the olive. It goes with the like white treasure map. Like it just, it goes with everything. I was like, okay. So I thought they were cute and they go with everything. Winner, we took them home. We had a, a friend in college who had a pair of burgundy corduroys and we always made fun of him. Like when he'd wear them, we'd be like, oh, you're wearing your burgundy corduroys and funny pants. I get it. I get it, Tim. If you're watching, I apologize for making fun of your burgundy pants. Because I bought these for my kid and I want him to wear them every single day. Because they're fantastic. So there's all the stuff I got my toddler from Once Upon a Child, the consignment store. Um, I took the price tags off and washed it and wore it. But here's what I know. All together, three pairs of shoes, one suit, one bow tie, three pairs of pants, one set of pajamas, and five t-shirts. I spent $56. Yeah. Plus a few hand-me-downs. That's all his clothes. That's it. It's done. I bought his clothes for like a year for $56. It's amazing. I love shopping secondhand for kids' clothes. So, hope that was fun for somebody. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye.